All right, guys. Hey, guess what? We have a great guest with us this week. Uh, this is Big Clutch himself, Sean Kirkman. He is he is here to just sort of talk about Comic Vault Live and some of these other awesome things he has going. And I'm excited to get to know him. I mean, I, it's one of those like I know his name. I knew about the Comic Vault Live, but I didn't really know a whole lot. So he's going to enlighten me and enlighten us about what he has going on. So. The clutch what you got what you got for me what's going on chris man thanks for having me on i really appreciate it stoked to, to touch base with you guys yeah uh so i guess the comics comics vaults live is the reason we're talking but i just sort of want to like before that got started that's only been around for a year or a little bit over a year now um what what were you doing before before you got into comics vault live uh like what would what would be uh, the resume of big clutch here <laughs> uh yeah it's it's a pretty good one uh i've been with skybound uh since for about 10 years i think my anniversary is just right around now uh, i was the second employee in the company and when i came on it was really to kind of uh work on all kind of merchandising and businessy parts of the company and then as we've grown we've added you know tons of people to handle video games and merchandising and all that stuff conventions etc uh and so i've shifted my my focus to more kind of like um you know AR and type talent acquisition type stuff but then okay. also hosting uh comics fault live and a couple other programs that are in the works too now uh, and like you said yeah we we've done comics fault live for about a year and a quarter year and a yeah, okay. year and a quarter so it was like 20 2020 at the beginning of the year we started doing it and then of course the pandemic happened and then it was like hey let's we're not doing any shows how can we shift this digital you know video experience and sales thing to kind of be something a little more um how do you say uh, consistent and so we started doing it every month and then we've done the expos which is our the skybound's little um you know celebration it's like a little mini online virtual comic-con and so we do a, a comics fall live during those as well and uh they've it's it's been a really good thing to have uh, while everyone's kind of sitting at home and uh, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a fun, fun show to do. Okay. Cause I do, I did catch the last expo and it was, I didn't watch the entire thing cause it's all day event, <laughs> but it was one of those, I loved how it was done. And like, I don't know how much you hadn't sort of, Hey, yeah, let's do this way. But like you said, talent acquisition, I heard that. And I was like, Oh wait, so you're the one who recruited in the guys that did excellence of Brandon Thomas and Kerry Randolph. And, uh, <laughs> Not, not, not back that far, but like I've, I've brought in guys like attack Peter, um, mm. uh, Which I, his stuff is just awesome. Yeah. Like, oh, he's so great. I love that cat. That dude is so good. And, uh, yeah, we've done awesome business with him too. Uh, Jack Dyer, the guy who created super fight. I, I, I found him and we brought in super fight red flags with the company years ago. Uh, and there's other stuff around the line, but then like, and it's stuff like excellence. So mm -hmm. the editorial team usually finds, uh, find most of that talent. So, uh, that's yeah. all, that's all on Sean Makowitz and his, his okay. uh, crew. Well, that's really cool. So let's, th let's jump into comments about live. Cause yep. it's, I, we were talking a little bit before it was hard to track down. I oh, mean, I want to watch a video, an old video and like, Oh wait, like you have one on two on the site that are through the, like I had to do a comics vault live video search and Google. And eventually I found it actually on the site, but I couldn't find it on the site by just searching the site. And I found uh, it, the first episode and the second episode. And then that's really all I found, but you just, how did, the courage that say, okay, we're going to just open up the vault and say, here's a bunch of nine, eight walking dead books. And we're going to price them to where you can afford them. Yeah. I mean, I, was, I thought that was awesome. I mean, I, was it immediate success or did it take a while to get people interested? It, it definitely took a while to, to kind of build it up. And I think, you know, the initial idea was, you know, we, I'm a comic collector been there yeah. since I was, you know, 11 years old and, and, and going to my old shop comic dreams. And like, you just, you know, you it's in your blood. And so you always want to find stuff. And so when we have, you know, like we have comps, we have old back issues, we have stuff that we've, we've tucked away and, and looking at like, it takes up space. And sometimes you're just like, Hey, like we've got the, the actual, the true vault vault copies that are just, you know, the ones we set aside for, yeah. you know, for legal reasons and whatnot. But then we have stuff like, Hey, this stuff could, could find a new place to live. And, um, and fans haven't seen some of these things or some of these variants and, and cause you know, fans from, you know, the walking dead was around for, you know, 16 plus years, same with invincible. And so there, there's stuff that we've done early on that, you know, aren't 
you know, widely known about, yeah. especially these smaller weird reprints or stuff we do with Wizard World or um, little ones for shows like Emerald City Comic Con. So how do we how do we kind of like get that stuff back out there? And you know, I we love the guys at CGC, and so we do do a ton of business with them. And I collect you know that stuff myself. I said, look, let's start selling these books. Yeah, um, they're sitting here. We can find a way to use them. And uh, yeah, it's done really well. I think the first few Comic Fault Lives, they were definitely much uh, smaller test shows. You know, yeah. I think we were maybe doing. And maybe- I could tell that there was like the books you chose were great. I mean, you were selling 9.8 copies of the regular issues that came out, but yeah. it was like the, the sync covers that run of Walking Dead. I, well, I can't remember what numbers it was, like 160 to 170. They were all. Yeah, the Bill Sinkavich covers. Yeah, and you had them all for 40 bucks. I'm like, that's the price of grading. And and the issue, I was like, that was a great deal. Yeah, yeah, and that's I think that's been that's been a really key part of it. And you know, if we're finding books that have been out there, I, I don't want to, I, I want to make it a treat for people to come to the show. So mm. I, we want to make sure that we're priced very competitively. We also offer free shipping, so that helps out too. Um, but yeah, I mean, making sure that that fans can get something that they enjoy at a good price is is what it's what it's about for us. And they're also like, look, I mean, if a person's going to buy a book, like you know, the, 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 I part of your guys' name is the invest. And so you want to leave a little meat on the bone oh, yeah. for people who are going to pick something up and know that like, Hey, I got a good deal and yeah. they'll come back, you know? Yeah. That's no, how it does. And then like, I, it's, you mentioned like those secret variants that are not secret, but just those smaller variants that no one knew about because of the success of walking dead and the success of now invincible. It's one of those like, Oh, people have started scouring going, where's that invincible book? Wait, there's a issue fifty has a second print of a, the homage, co- and you're like, how long has that been around that no one knew about? So, yeah. I mean, that, to think that you had those stuff in the vault, yeah, oh yeah, we have like twenty of those sitting back here that we're just baiting, like, okay, do we do a vault live with that or do we not? And uh, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some issues that we we just don't have, you know, like because yeah. Skybound Skybound started in 2010, and mm-hmm. so that was definitely after, you know. Um, you know, Robert had been doing his own stuff since, you know, the early 2000s by, you know, back home in Kentucky. And so, like, a lot of that stuff he has his own, he has his own comps and, and yeah. stuff. See, but so we didn't have a lot of that stuff. But if we ever did find something or if we, you know, we had extra comps from, you know, any issue that came out, whether it's, you know, the Walking Dead 100s when those came out mm-hmm. or or Invincible 100 or any of that yeah. stuff, like, we'd make sure we had some stuff on hand and and uh, being able to offer it up is, is, is um important you know i want i want those books out there in in fans hands and i want people who are you know these massive set collectors who've got their registry and they've got every every variant if they can't find weird ones like we want to make them available uh to them that's all and i didn't realize until i started talking to some comic books there are collectors out there that they collect cgc 9 8 of every issue like they're that obsessed and so you're offering an opportunity for them to pick up that hard to find variant in a already graded nine eight for an affordable price because there are people that ha- have these little bragging rights where they're like I have the biggest nine point eight collection of Invincible or or Cable or whatever it may be it's just like whoa yeah there are guys who are, I, and I I credit anybody I have I don't I I've browsed these CDC registry sets to see like what people have and I I am just astonished at the amount of these collections and you know people i mean the walking dead collection itself is like you know it's it's one of every cover and every issue and it, wow. i think it includes like the, the the comic shop day variants we did for the 15th anniversary i think it also covers like the, oh wait the ones that like every comic book store could have gotten yeah, there is like like 165 shops or whatever it was wow um yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy and some that there are also like i think there are one or two really like super rare prints of books mm-hmm. in there that shops had like didn't like it didn't the order didn't go through but they had made comps and so they're like some of them are out there yeah it's 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 pretty pretty gnarly wow that's just nuts i mean then of course now they're going and great now we got to go color and we got to get seven copies of every because uh, I, I think the guys on the registry set decided that the the walking Dead deluxe is a separate thing so they don't okay. have so it's treated as its own separate because there's like one through 48 and then there's one with all one through end with all variants and then there's like the deluxe set so okay yeah they don't have to <laughs> and, go then, to- and then there's the weekly if you want to do that one <laughs> weekly as well yeah yeah so oh so I'm just like amazed to think it through 
how many Walking Dead? Because I've gone into the comic shop and I've seen, especially you're talking about the reprints of issue one. And like every con for like, it seemed like for 10 years, every con had a Walking Dead want a variant. Yeah, um, we did a lot. The Wizard World, uh, the Wizard World guys are pretty awesome. I think there was like two years where we, we had supplied them with books for pretty much every show that they were doing. And it was, uh, it was, a, con- it was a considerable amount of variant covers to have to juggle and deal with. So, yeah. Which I appreciate because I it, like I'm in Nashville and they actually came through. And I was like, I got the Walking Dead Nashville one. And I was like, that's pretty cool, just because it was the first first con I'd been to was the one in my local town. So it was oh, like, that's cool. awesome. Uh, and I do remember getting that book. I was like, yes, I got that book. Uh, but so I I want to pull up some of the because you gone from doing Walking Dead and just pulling out your vault and pulling out your comp issues to you started designing variants. For this comic spot live is that the way the way i understand it like when did yeah, you start think, doing I that think, i think it really kind of kicked off uh last summer when uh you know robert and charlie released um here's negan and mm. uh or no was it here's negan lives negan lives right negan mm-hmm. lives was the one yeah. and so it's actually right there behind, right there behind. <laughs> That one red foil, the red foil one. Oh yeah, and so that was Robert's like, hey, look, let's do a version for Comics Vault Live too, you know, because we had we had sent those out to comic shops, the the regular version for free, the gold foil, the silver foil, and he's like, let's do a, a red foil one. And so that really kind of kicked off us starting to really like, all right, let's start working at looking at um, you know specific variants just for uh, CBL. Okay, so when you do these specific ones for CBL. Like, is it really like a, it's what, what's the print run size, I guess is the question. Cause like as a collector, we go, okay, how rare is this book? Like, yeah, I think for the most part, like our print runs, uh, you know, and, and because we offer things as CGC nine, eight, so it's a, it's, it's tricky, right? Cause you can't, yeah. you can't, when you print a book from a printer, like there's no guarantee what condition yeah. is going to come in, right? Like their periodicals are not really produced as collectibles. And so you've got, you've got a, a big tolerance in, in what is you know, quote unquote near mint right yeah. so we end up printing somewhere between 350 and 500 mm-hmm. uh, of each copy of each book and then when we submit those to cdc they pull out what they can and so for the most part i think we see about a 50 percent return okay. a 50 to 60 percent return um so you, and so we'll get wow, like so you take those three 350 to 500 and you just send them to cdc and you go we want all the nine eights yeah. and don't you do the five dollar whatever uh, whatever we do, deal you yeah, we do the pre-screen option yeah. and, and they t- they take care of us and you know they'll so do go you through. trash the others or do you give them away like no we actually have all the everything gets sent back to us and so we have it all in storage and so when we go to we're looking at what other options we can do with those books too yeah. so when we go to conventions we might have you know raw copies available um we do the cdc books because it's easier to to yeah. process and ship and you're not going to I don't want to, <laughs> we've, we've sold raw books before and it is such a pain because person's like, Oh my God, this isn't, you know, there's a ding or whatever. And it's like, that's oh, in the near mint. That's in the near mint. You know, uh, near, near mint cards. is a range. It's not. It's uh, range. Yeah. Yeah. But they're like, Oh, this isn't, this isn't a nine, nine or 10. I'm like, you're not going to get that many of them. So yeah. we, we hold on to those and then we'll probably end up finding some way to offer them up once we, once we go back to shows at some point in the next year or so. Um, yeah. actually, I think we'll be doing some shows at the end of the year, uh, possibly. So we'll see how that goes. So, okay. That's because that's when, I mean, obviously we're CBSI, we're about collecting and it's like, okay, knowing the, cause one of the things I actually wrote an article about store variants is knowing print runs is so important for a collector to, so to know, okay, we, you guys do between 350 to 500, which I mean, I understand the range. Cause I mean, yeah. you sometimes, it's, the worst is when you go and every freaking one of them has a print rub on the back and is CGC going to recognize that as being a printer error or are they going to say that's a, that's an actual scuff or something absolutely and it's tough too and and printers you know it's all about you know i i've learned a lot over the years from like the guys at cdc and then also the 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 print team over at uh, image on on how stuff gets you know handled and processed and whatever and you know you don't know i it it, whether it's paper, whether it's the color of the, the front cover versus the back cover, because sometimes you've got color rubs if you've got a lighter back cover than a front cover and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty complex art, you know? Yeah. It's, I mean, the, the stories I've heard, especially as, as I've talked to more and more stores, and because the, the, now the game is because they can't, you don't have as many customers, so you're doing everything online. It's like, the game is how many store exclusives and which ones take off and which ones don't. Um, yeah. But I want to show, I have the little PowerPoint we looked at. I want to show it to some people. I want you to talk about some of these books because you, there's some awesome ones. And I, I'm kicking myself. I didn't grab one of the images I really wanted to grab. I just forgot about it. But we'll talk about it in a second. But let me pull this up and show as my mouse died. So let me show this real fast. So 
this is of course just a picture of you, <laughs> but uh, it's a fantastic picture by the oh, way. Yeah. I pulled it right out of the, right out of your image. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, so, what, not, what is dude. this? Oh, what not's a great platform. Um, so it's it's a, like a live it's a live video auction platform basically or mm -hmm. a sales platform. Um, we did our first test one, um, I think sometime last month and it was pretty awesome. I had a great time. Like a lot of fans came out for it. And so, you know, as you, you put up a new item, you do, you can do a one or two minute, five minute auction, and then uh, people can bid on it. And, uh, it's pretty great. Man. I love, I love being able to offer stuff that we have a smaller quantity of. Okay. You know, if we only have one or two, it's really tough to put it on the website when we do comics fall live because it's, it's gone instantaneously. So you really like, there's no. Um, it's it's a really tough for a person to like. Hey, if I got five people who want that book and I only have two of like whatever, but this way, like we can do an auction. We can we'll make it a little more competitive and fun, and um, they've got a really great com community over there of uh, people who already use it for stuff like you know uh, box breaks and pack breaks for Pokemon and Magic and sports mm -hmm. cards and whatnot okay. and pops and all that stuff. Because like I hadn't heard of this until I was doing research into this your Comics Vault Live. I was like, oh, huh, I was curious about it. So do you use this like for those super rare or, okay, we only have five, nine, eights of this book or whatever. So you throw it in here, let people bid on it. So you cut out the, because the, the big bad word right now is bots and uh, stores sending little robots out basically to, or it's an app, but to buy every book of an issue. So like that cuts that out of the super rare, hard to find ones. I, I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. And then of course, whoops. Oh, my mouse didn't click. There we go. So here's here's one of the ones I, I'm kicking myself. I love this. This is a local comic shop day cover, but what it, what makes this special? Yeah, so we did these as so you know what, Invincible came out uh, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, debuted mm -hmm. it's something we've been we've been kind of waiting a long time for, um, and Robert wanted to kind of do some sort of uh, fun ramp up. And so when we did the local comic shop day um, or the free comic, I think it was free comic day. It was, was uh, November, the free com and, the local yeah, comic shop right. day books where the stores can sell them, but you you guys don't really take much profit from it. Yeah, so. I think we I think he had actually sent these out. I want to say he sent them out for free, and then he did a, um, or he no he sent out the gold. There was a gold foil Ooh. version that he sent out to uh, to shops, and so he wanted to do more stuff that we can have for CBL, and so we yeah. did like these colored um, foil embossed foil logos. And so it's cardstock cover and it's got the embossed logo. We did a red foil for the first release. And then we did the, the blue and yellow ones you see here. Um, we've got a black foil one coming up at some point. Oh, and wow. Other ones that we're, we're still trying to figure out how and, and when to release them. But um, yeah, they're super cool and fans love them. And we sold those two as a set because, you know, just kind of blue and yellow with the costume. Um, yeah, they're great. I mean, people really have really enjoyed picking them up. And, you know, it, it's good to, with there not being actual, you know, invincible on the shelves monthly at this point, it's yeah. kind of nice to have some sort of extra collectability popping up in the market while the show's on air. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't know this existed until I was, I was oh, damn, I like, because I like the foil, I mean, I picked up the foil, the whatever, the local comic shop day, and then, of course, you had the Amazon one came out uh, for the show. That's right. But yeah, it is nice to, as, and it's funny, because you have, and I'm, I'm not, I was not an original Invincible guy, I'm a, in the past five years, Invincible guy, but, like, going back and reading, I'm like, oh, it's such a fun series, and giving everyone a chance to pick up a new issue of Invincible 1 is a pretty cool idea. Yeah, it's pretty great. And this is one of your new books. And I'm a huge Jock fan. And oh, this Jock is, awesome. is one of those dudes, like, I've been such a fan of him for, for so many years. And then I, I got a chance to meet him uh, about two years ago at MondoCon. And he was, like, the nicest dude. I bought a couple of pieces from him and, and uh, of original art. And when, when this popped up with Image, and so this is Nocterra by uh, Scott Snyder and Tony Daniel, and uh, they were like, hey, do you guys want to do a variant for it? And I jumped at the chance. And then, you know, uh, Jeff and Alex, who um, on Images side are working with me and John, working with us on on books to, to offer up, um, we, we were like, let's, if there's something we can do with the jaw cover. And they said, look, we've got the sketch variant. I said, absolutely. And then the image production team with Hillary and Heather were like, hey, we can do, we can do like a, a you know, we can do the foil lettering and, and do the red and it, it came out so amazing. And so we, we, got, we really lucked out. Um, Arun so, who works with me on CBL on sorting out the books we're going to do. This yeah. is, I think this is one of our crowning, crowning achievements at the time. So you're telling me the red is a foil? The yeah. Right? The red is foil. Yeah. Oh, it pops, it pops right. so hard. Cause so, that, that white, you get that really white background and boom, it's shiny. How, um, 
how how do you guys do sending these off the CGC? Like this has to be a hard cover to get a nine eight in. Yeah, it was actually pretty tough. I, I think you know I think we sent in pretty much all of the copies we had and you know we got back what we did. So luckily, I mean, one of the tricks with this one too, and and this I give all credit to the 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 production team over at Image, but they were like, if they 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 did a, uh, I think it was like a spot gloss on the back cover because mm-hmm. so, the back cover is like a darker red. And so because you do the spot gloss, it covers up the ink. And so you're not going to get the, the, the color rub, which gotcha. was knowing that it was going to be a white cover. I was con- hmm. really concerned about, and these came out beautifully. Oh, good, man. That's I'm so like, I love the black and white version. I love the, of course the main cover is gorgeous, but this is might be even the best of them just because of the way, you could truly get to see his lines, which I mean, that, that's why I love Jock is the way he yeah. his inks and everything. Let's see what we got. Okay, so once again, just showing the labels, just to brag about. Okay, nine eights of signed by man. I mean, yeah, these are, are this is actually really cool too, and, and just because of you know just. It, the pandemic has been tough and not being able to go to shows. And one mm-hmm. of the things that, you know, I think we do when we go to bigger shows like San Diego or New York, Robert uh, will do, um, he'll do a private signing with CGC. And so not having that ability to kind of get fans, um, you know, sign books. We, I, I said, Hey, I was able to get Robert for a day and, and Corey Walker as well. And I got them to, to sign a bunch of stuff for us. And so we've been able to offer up some signed books from, you know, Robert during yeah. the pandemic, which is a, a fantastic thing to have. So we've got more stuff signed and we figure out which, uh, which ones we're going to release uh, and how, and maybe yeah. it's what not, maybe it's more CBL episodes or, or whatever, but yeah, we've got more stuff on the horizon. Well, and I, I mean, uh, I love seeing these titles cause I didn't realize I read firepower not too long ago. I'm like, it's so much better than what the cover implies it is. Like, I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but like, it's a, it's a really fun story. It's a ninja story or a Kung Fu story. And that's not, I kept thinking it was like some superpowered fireman when I read the title. <laughs> and, and then I, I, I read it. I was like, this is really good. And I love the Kung Fu atmosphere. And I'm like, uh, and a family story. And it's like, Oh, this is great. Yeah. yeah it's awesome. And then die, die, die. Of course, everyone remembered the covers being just ridiculous, but uh, yeah. And now you, you guys not just image anymore. You're going to yeah. be so yeah, to the, to this point, this is exciting. I mean, we're, this is the first time we're going to work with an outside publisher. I mean, skybound and image are, are not the same company where we're, you know, partners and whatnot. And so doing image books has, has been big and we did ready and black and Nocterra. Um, but, but yeah, being able to work with boom, uh, I'm a big magic, the gathering fan already. So that gave me such a, a thrill to, to see the comic book coming out again. And, and we worked with Morgan over at boom to come up with this, uh, this cover. And this is a Yoon variant and it's a virgin variant. So we'll have it available on this Friday's episode of comics fault live. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm super, I'm super excited to be able to, to, to start doing this stuff. Okay. So, so how often, so this, this Friday, is it every Friday or is it once a month? We do it once a month. Yeah. It's okay, usually like the second or third Friday of the month. Okay. Cause it threw me off when I go through your Twitter feed, I was looking at, I was like, wait, there's a, something April 1st. And I'm like, wait, what happened April 1st? And then there's one April 1st was the what night. Yeah. Okay. So that was the difference. Yeah. We're trying to, we're, we're going to look at, at finding a way to, to do something maybe once uh, every other week and kind of keep a, a by, you know, every two week cadence. And then whether it's one on CVL and one on whatnot, and then just kind of having that as a consistent way to keep, you know, stuff that we're doing going okay. on. So, so whatnot, like how, I mean, I, you can subscribe, you go to your, what, go to the look, Google comics vault live or go to skybound and you can subscribe to comics vault live. Yeah. And you I've send got, out uh, emails Twitter, to tell when Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, we're all on those um, for Big Clutch or Comics Vault Live. Okay. Um, and you can also go to skybound.com and then you can sign up for our insider's email newsletter. And we've mm-hmm. got also a pretty robust um, Facebook group for the Skybound Insiders. And a lot of the fans are on there talking about uh, what we're doing. So, okay. it's what's one is like, as I'm coming hip to Skybound and all the, like, as one as I'm like, oh, wait, you do this and you do this. But trying to, it's hard when you're coming in to know where those things are. And by the time you find out where those things are, it's already over. And you're like, uh, you're like, damn it. I missed that book or I wasn't, I wasn't ready. So your comics fault live is typically going to be, you're going to drop the, the book on the site at the same time you're showing it. On yeah, your- so while while I do the show live, uh, and it's not like a, it's not like a claim sale that the guys do on um, um, comic book shopping network and whatnot, we we end up. I'll be live on the show. I'll show the book. Like, I'll, you know, this is, I'll show yeah. you this. This is a special one. So this is going to be, um, 
me see my computer here. So this is actually, this is a book that we're going to offer. We haven't announced this yet. So oh. I think we might be announcing today. So surprise, everybody. Uh, this is, is the, the, this is the Walking Dead number one, second print. This is the, the Dave Finch covers. They needed the, the, uh, the zombified versions. Oh yeah. And so this is, it's kind of hard to see, but we've got a, this is a gold foil variant. Mm -hmm. So there's the foil logo up here at the top. And so we'll have this available uh, this coming Friday, as well as the, Oh, wow. Black and white version with red foil. So all of our, all of our fans who love foil fever will be able to get the, <laughs> having a chance to get these. So they're pretty, they're pretty awesome. This whole cover run has been, has been amazing to see like uh, Dave's artwork is amazing. And these covers are definitely like, they're blowing me away. So yeah. um, Robert was, was gracious enough to offer us the, the ability to do some uh, foil fever for these. So we're really excited to have them. That's all. Oh, those are, that's awesome. Like, cause I, I'm not a diehard Walking Dead fan, so to see the color version and then to see man with the second print and then to see David Finch's covers, which are ridiculous, because he did what one through one through six, one through six, and then yeah. every one of them had like a one for twenty five black and white version. I think so, yeah. And and those and that's and that's kind of the other issue about this too is like the one in twenty fives because their second prints like not as many shops order them. So yeah. those one in twenty fives of the actual the ones without the logo are super rare there's like yeah. i think they're both they're all six of them are sub 200 copies oh uh, out, there, out there that went to shops so they're <laughs> very 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 fucking rare wow i did, I, I figured as much just because yeah. when i went into my shop and saw especially of issue one but saw multiple copies of issue one like you have to have walking dead fans that are recollecting in color yeah. all the walking dead deluxes so it, it does get tricky thinking through but from everything i've seen it seems like it's a success like yeah, People everyone are, everyone has has dug them. Everyone that's reached out to me and and asked for my comps. Um, yeah. <laughs> sorry, those are staying here. Yeah, well, that's okay. So that's just wow. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. So, do you guys drop those images like through Twitter and through Facebook? So like, okay, I can get, get prepared for Friday. These are the ones I'm going for. But do you ever have? So do you show every book that you're selling, or do you show? No, I think we we show some some of the highlights, you know, the big ones, yeah. and then we we have filler books that we just put in to kind of fill out the show. Uh, usually the show runs about half an hour, yeah. uh, so we try to have you know somewhere between like five and ten books that we put up on sale. Uh, depends okay. upon if we have a guest or if we talk or whatever. So yeah, that's 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 because I've watched Facebook auctions, so but most of them are either quick claim sale or it's a okay bid up and it's always like okay what was the last twitter feed or last post sorry sorry bill beat you but i was first no in the arguments yeah happen. it's really tough to do it I, I i commend the people who are able to do it that way any of the shops that, that run their sales that way it's it's such a it's such a hard thing to kind of navigate uh and that's why i think like shows like you know the way we do it and then also like what whatnot does so you have a chance like you're never like x'd out if you can't get it so you you always have a chance if you're going to bid on an auction or whatever i mean yes you might pay up for stuff but you know it's yeah. still there and you still have the option opportunity to decide what you want to do yeah that's really so okay and there's so whatnots you pretty much run them both the same but just once through whatnot once through your website yeah, I mean, they ran a little bit differently. So the website won the Comics Vault Live main show that we do. Uh, and I think we're streaming on Facebook Live uh, this Friday uh, yeah. we're, uh, for the platform. Um, yeah, that one, we just like, if I show the book, I throw the link up in the chat and then, then it goes. Uh, but on on whatnot, it's, it's a, it's, we run one minute auctions, uh, oh, which, wow. are, which are, which are, they're super fun because they go, they go so quick. Oh, um, see that, that makes me, because I, that's my biggest pet peeve is watching a book sit there for five minutes and the guy go okay three more seconds yeah two yeah. more seconds oh wait, 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 let's talk for five more minutes one more <laughs> second <laughs> yeah I'm the like, one that's really it's fun because like it and it it has a you can do either the, the the sudden death where it just ends or if you put a bid in within the last like 25 seconds i think it adds an extra 10 seconds so it kind of keeps pushing on um <laughs> we run it we run them that way and it actually gets pretty fun watching people kind of get into a little bit of a bidding um, frenzy and just like just damn you because my gambling nature kicks in with that and going oh, i want to do the 10 seconds i want to keep pushing it I, wanna, I don't want it but i want to push it to the next level <laughs> Yeah, they have really. I, I I've participated in some like the Pokemon and, and Magic the Gathering auctions and whatnot, and uh, they're they're just super addictive. <laughs> That's I'm sitting here going, oh crap! That's another way for me to spend my money. Thank you, thank you a whole lot. <laughs> but that's awesome. Um, 
Wow, I'm I'm sorry to go that I'm so because I remember hearing about this when it came out and didn't didn't play the game with trying to figure out where it was because it was one of those I've slowly more and more become into okay, getting the rarer, getting the more exclusives. It's not about completing anymore, even though completing is important. Sometimes it's nice to have one of 200 books. Yeah. One, and and there's an entire element of collectors out there that just want to be able to say they have a rare book. Amazing Spider-Man 1 is really nice, but having this book that only has 300 copies out there, and it's a 9-8, so that means there's only 50 of these, it sometimes can be nicer. Now, granted, I'm a Spider-Man guy, so I want Spider-Man first. But Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, that's... That's sort of, that's sort of cool and hmm. uh so this Friday yep what what time 4 p.m. Pacific so uh, be- on Facebook Live if you want to follow if you if anyone wants to check it out you can go on to my uh, my social medias or Comics Vault Live so it's either at Big Clutch or at Comics Vault Live that's Comics Plural Vault Live okay. um, we've got them all set up and we'll be doing a bunch of pushes this week. Very cool. So yeah, and like I've already I've gone through and I've tried to figure out follow you, follow the comics vault, follow, just go through the list and make sure so you get those pushes. And I mean, I tell you, you got I do that for everything now. I, just to find out when things drop is it's but to to now be able to know, okay, it's going live at four o'clock Pacific or six o'clock central or seven o'clock eastern. That's the fun funness of trying to figure out the balance. <laughs> there's um, there's so much information out there. And I, I will I will warn anyone who does follow me uh follows the big cat clutch accounts on on Instagram or whatever, like you're gonna see pictures of my cats. That, that's <laughs> just gonna be what happens. Like I, I don't <laughs> I can't stop it. They're they're great. So yeah, cats <laughs> and comics is what I've got. Sometimes now, the, no, I guess the question would be: there, Is there cat hair in the comics? No, absolutely not. That is all controlled at a very <laughs> at the office. We don't let any animals at the office, so everything is uh, is nice and clean. <laughs> Just making sure. And so, with the comics vault live, is there a, a card vault live or a game vault live or anything like that in the works? Or <sighs> don't uh, don't start don't start. We've we've we have things that we're looking at doing. <laughs> yes, we'll be we'll we will be doing a lot more stuff. I mean, I the lucky. I'm very lucky in the fact that Skybound has been able to support me in, in these things that are my interests, you know, mm-hmm. collecting comic books and graded books and, and cards and all that stuff. Like they're, they're open to everything. So we have a, a pretty amazing, where our, our social media team is awesome. And they're, they're always come with ideas and stuff. And so we do stuff with, you know, comics and games and all that stuff. So we'll be, uh, we'll be expanding into uh, er- other areas very, very soon. Okay. That's, that's, that's exciting to know that that's happening or potentially happening. I mean, who knows? Once con season starts, all of a sudden your life's dominated by packing up a car, driving forever, going unloading the car for three days, and then packing it back up and going to the next place. I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> I would need a sh- I need shows so bad. I just need to get. A, I just need to get. It's just oh, hey, you know, it's not being near people and and all that stuff. Like there's that energy of going to a show and and just you know. Hey, I saw there was one in South Carolina this past weekend. Uh, you oh, really? Oh, wow. SCCon happened, and then there's a bunch of little ones. Like they, they don't they don't do the big big things. Yeah. If you, if, if you hit the South, that we're still doing them. So the little, yeah, well, yeah, you guys have been doing a lot of stuff this entire time. <laughs> Out here in California, we're a little more we're a little more uh, they're a little more safety conscious at the moment, which yes. for good or for better or for worse, you know. Like yeah. I think there's I think we're opening things up uh, here pretty soon. So uh, excited to have. Uh, life returned to fairly normalcy i guess yeah whatever that may be of course i'm yeah. trying to picture you wearing a mask with that beard like how- yeah, I, I definitely got the beard curl that comes underneath <laughs> it whatnot so i've been looking at getting some sort of like one of those like longer like they make the like you can get guys that make like these long beard uh, covers so. <laughs> get, get like the dumbledore style and just it, it makes your beard look extra long but it's really a mask. Oh, yeah yeah You're like oh fooled you did you ever see uh, when the mask first started? Uh, I saw some guy, a leather worker, created a face hugger mask. And it looked like That's a freaking great. alien space hugger. It's leather bound, but like you could wear it like and walk around the stores with a freaking I saw that. Like, I think like uh, Tom Savini, who does a lot of, uh, 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 he's an actor, but he also does a ton of uh, mask effects and stuff for movies and whatever. I think he had released some really cool stuff too, like, like horror inspired masks. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't. I don't know if my neighborhood's gonna really enjoy me walking around with a, a monster on my face. I, I no. should be try to remove it without my. <laughs> I'm saying this sounds awesome, but like, no. I, I mean, I'm I'm self conscious enough that I won't even wear like a Spider Man one or anything. Like, I'm, I'm like, okay, like the something's killing the children's bit big. I'm like, that mask is awesome. But I can't walk into a school. Or I can't walk into Kroger without getting weird looks if I wear yeah. something like I that. I do have some really cool ones I've got from, uh, I think, Mass Republica, which are like luchador masks for like mm. Pentagram oh, nice. and uh, Ray Phoenix or whatever. And I, I'll wear those from time to time. They're they're pretty awesome. So, 
but it's like my little my little bit of flair. <laughs> Oh, big clutch, Sean. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Chris, thanks for having me on, man. This has been awesome. This has been very informative. As uh, as always, guys, this is comicbookinvest.com. Please like, please subscribe. As I get to interview artists and do all these other great things, um, article will be up as soon. And Friday, 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 hit up. Uh, I, I can't sound like the monster truck guy, but Friday, 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 hit up uh, Facebook Live auction, 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check out the uh, videos. I'm going to, well, actually don't, because I, I want to see if I can get this stuff before you do. But <laughs> shh. <laughs> this will come out in two weeks after the. After the <laughs> I'm going to delay it. No. But uh, yes, yeah, Sean, thank you so much for joining us. It's been awesome, great. Man. Thanks, dude. Have a good one, brother. Yeah. See ya.